can you read? Now we were writing a formal letter to Miss Janti. Now in the question number 7, what do you have to do? Exchange your letter with another student. So it is not applicable, right? It is not applicable here. Imagine that you are Jayanti and now imagine you are Jayanti. You got the letter, you got a letter from a school inviting you to deliver a speech. You can either write accepting the invitation or declining the invitation. Now you are Miss Jayanti now, so you can decide whether you are going to accept this or decline or reject it. You can make use of the following structures into two letters. So first you decide whether you are going to accept it or reject it. If you accept this letter, what? Um, so you have to write a letter. Again, the letter is a formal letter. You should follow the format, and there are some phrases that can, that will help you to uh, write the letter. Right? If you accept, you have the right, left um, uh, sentence structures are there in the left side. If you decline, structures are there in the right side. So please go through it. First, decide whether you accept or accept you, you will accept or not and then start writing a formal letter. So, you can start writing uh, if you are going to ac ac accept the invitation you start I will be delighted to get an invitation from you something like that. So, start receivers your address Miss Janty they receive a school address then salutation dear secretary dear Miss or something or Miss Kavita or something then I am delighted to I am I, I will be delighted to um, deliver a speech on the school speech day and and so on you can go on so this is my top so uh, so then I will be I am able to come on this day I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to get a reply from you um, I am willing to speak on this 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 about about these things I will to speak on the determination if the topic determination she she can reply as I'm willing to speak on uh, what type of determination the school uh, what type of determinations must school children have something like that you should think think what you write develop your ideas think more Right now, uh, we are going to uh, do a reading, uh, reading passage. Uh, going to do reading another passage. First, we bef uh, before we start reading, um, let's discuss about about inventors. Right now, tell me who are inventors? Inventors, inventing, inventors. So inventors means inventing means you are you are finding. Somebody is finding something very new for the first time, right? Uh, some, some, somebody, is find, uh, find, somebody is finding something uh, that is not existing at the present, not a non existing thing, right? Something very new to us. That is why those people are called inventors. Inventors. Now, can you think about an inventor? In the past, in the history, how many inventors are there? My God, so many. Can you think about an inventor? A world famous inventors are there? Or who? Just think about if we take the electric bulb, we have bulb, right? Who invented that? Thomas Alva Edison. So he is the inventor. He is an inventor. So he invented the bulb like that. Okay. Right. Then you have an activity in the number 2, page number 8, last question, question number 2. You have a pair of work, but do it alone, do it alone. Uh, look at the following table of inventors and their inventions. Use the table to talk to your partner and your answer to, to this list. Right, you have to go through this table. Now you can see a table, right? So there are three column, columns, inventor, invention and importance, right. So what is the uh, sentence you should make? The example is, the first one I has done for you, Willie's carrier invented the air condition, invented the air condition, that's it, right. So Willie's carrier invented air condition. Or there are two ways, one is Willie's carrier invented air condition, one way, the other way air condition was invented by Willis carrier right so there are two ways the first one is you write the inventor's name Willis carrier
Smith Carrier invented air condition. Okay, will this carry in your air condition or else you can write air conditioning was invented by Willis Carrier. Willis Carrier. Right. So, what is the difference? Is the sentence formation is different or the meaning difference? What is different here? What are the what is the information giving here? Willis Carrier invented air conditioning. Who invented Willis Carrier? What invented? Air conditioning. In the second sentence, air condition was invented by Willis Carrier. What is there again? What invented? Air condition. Who did it? With this carrier. The same information here, right? So why why there are two formations? Why why two different structures? Do you really know what's the difference here in writing sentence formation? The first one is we call in active voice, the second one is in passive voice. Why active voice? Why active? The doer is doing the action, right? Will he carrier? Invented, he has the he is doing action. What is doing air condition? So it's active. The, the doer is actively participating in the action uh, uh, in the action of the sentence. Will is can he inventing? Will is can he invent the air condition? So it's the active voice because the subject or the doer is actively participating in the action of the sentence. Right. The second one, air condition was invented. If you don't want, we don't. Uh, if you want, we we uh, we don't want the use by, the word by and the name. We can use the air conditioning was invented. Or air condition was invented by Willis Carrier. This is why this is passive. This action is the action. Uh, the subject is acted upon, right? Here the subject is not really important. Not the subject. The doer, doer, doer is not really important do a, if you want we can just forget about him we we uh, if you don't want we can just erase the person's name so the person's name or the doer is not that important but the action is really important what's the action happened air condition was invented the invention what he, he in, uh, invented air condition that is the important message here not the person so that's the two difference between these two uh, sentences the active voice the person is very important in passive voice the action is very important remember there's the two difference right okay now having this example please make all the sent example sentences using the table now the second one alexandro volta alexandro volta what he invented batteries batteries right so give me the uh, passive sentence What's the passive sentence? Alessandro Volta. So the person, the doer, Alessandro Volta, Volta invented batteries. Okay. The doer is doing something active. Alessandro Volta invented batteries. He is very important here. And we'll make it a passive. Or, or we'll highlight the action. What's the action? Batteries. Batteries. Is that batteries? Yeah. Batteries, plural, were, plural, no, were invented. So this is very important. Action is important. Highlight as the action. Batteries were invented. So we'll put the person name. It's, it's, it's really it's not really important by Alessandro Volta. Volta. Right. 
So the two difference, right? Using these examples, please make all example sentences. So you have then Stefan Poplowski. Stefan Poplowski, the kitchen blender, very important thing, right? Yeah, so how do we use inactive? Stefan Poplowski invented the kitchen blender. Or take the invention, take the action out. The kitchen blender was invented by Stefan Poplowski. The fourth, Arthur Wien. Arthur Wien invented crossword puzzles. Then take the action out. Crossword puzzles were, were invented by Arthur Wien. Then Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Take the action out. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. Okay. So I did five. You do the other five. There are four more, right? Do the other four alone. Good. Okay, right. Now let's move to read. Are you ready to read, children? Yes, we have to read. Now, reading passage is Re Vijay Vardhana in the page number 10. Got it? Turn to the page number 10. The reading passage is Re Vijay Vardhana. Please read the thing with me. Please read each and every word with me. Right? Re Vijay Vardhana. Dr. Philip Revata Vijay Vardhana. 1924 to 2010 is better known as Ray Vijayvardhana. So he was he has a nickname, right? He was called Ray Vijayvardhana instead of Revata. He was an engineer, inventor, and an Olympic athlete. Oh my God, he was an engineer. That means an educated man, an inventor. He has invented something new, and an Olympic athlete. Athlete. He's a sportsman. This multi-talented man was a brilliant, innovative thinker. Multi-talented. What do you mean by multi-talented? He has many talents. He is not only uh, talent. He, he is not talented only in engineering. But he ha no, in maths. He is He has talents in uh, different. Uh, he has different talents, right? To invent something and also a great sport. Uh, he was without equal. He was with without equal that means that you can't uh, equal somebody to him like you can't there, there's nobody like him it's like equal to uh, without equal there's nobody like him he's very unique he's unique his passion in life was to find practical solutions to problems faced by ordinary Sri Lankans so that their lives could be improved his passion, he likes, he really want to do, he, he, say it, it, that it, he has that interest, that interest come within him, that is called passion. So his passion in life was to find practical solution to problems faced by ordinary Sri Lankans. Oh, so she, he, he really wanted to help ordinary Sri Lankans. He, want to, he really wanted to make Sri Lankans life better, easier, comfortable. Let's see what he did. One of his first and best known inventions is the land master, the two-wheeled walking tractor. So what is what he invented? The very first, the best known, the popular, very famous one was land master. Do you know, do you know land master children? Still we can see, right? Land masters in uh, villages. He invented the land master in 1955. This invention improved the li lives of farmers in Sri Lanka drastically. So this invented a walking tractor, uh, two-wheeled uh, vehicle that, that helped farmers a lot, Sri Lankan farmers a lot. It saved their time, it made easier their lifestyle. So, uh, so drastically means with lots of changes, very quickly, like, with lots of changes. Before the landmaster, farmers had to use imported tractors. That means, now before he invented the landmaster in Sri Lanka, what, what farmers in, uh, used? Tractors, imported tractors. That means we import from another country, maybe from India or Bangladesh or Pakistan, somewhere in Asian country. So from, from an Asian country, we imported, right? 
they were too large and too expensive for most farmers. So what the problem was since they are export, uh, importing uh, it was expensive you know, probably it must have a big money you have to afford big money so expensive and sometimes too large. Um, so Dr. Vijay Vardhana invented one that one that was modified for Sri Lankan farmers and their needs. So what Mr. Ray Vijay Vardhana did he modified one according to our purpose, according to Sri Lankan needs, Sri Lankan's lifestyle. It was much more affordable and more suitable than the imported tractor. So what happened since he invented according to our need and purposes, it was more, much more suitable for us it matched for our works and also more affordable so it uh, so you have to spend less money it's not expensive that expensive right uh, 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 you can somehow manage to buy by a landmaster at that time it uh, therefore the landmaster became very popular among farmers in more than 20 countries uh, because of that since it was more affordable for uh, more, more suitable so it was it became very very popular not only in Sri Lanka but in 20 other countries more than 20 other countries they were in use in many Asian countries for many years the farmers worked much more efficiently because of the landmaster. So now all these uh, landmasters used in many Asian countries. Because of the landmaster, so farmers to, can, could work well. They did efficiently. They time saved. They did lots of works because of that. For many years. Ray Vijayvardhan was interested in different types of transport. So he was very fascinated about transport, right? Vehicles and form of transport, form of, yeah, transport. Then he was most interested in types of transport that were powered by humans, like bicycles and hang gliders. So he was most interested in what? He liked very much man-powered vehicles man powered like bicycle foot bicycle we use we cycle no we, we cycle only um, only we need one man to ride the bicycle we don't want electric power we don't want gas power we don't want uh, fuel power no only man one person can ride it likewise and also so he was thinking about bicycle and hand gliders what is hand glider have you seen uh, uh, something that has a uh, craft more consist of metal frame like a like a early type of aeroplane aeroplane it is uh, it has a metal frame with uh, with the thick cloth covered by thick cloth it is flown through the air by a person it is flown through the air by the person person uh, you must have seen this it has like two wings and man is in between uh, the two wings and only one man is strong to, uh, it is flown through the air. This is a hang glider. So he was thinking that. He was thinking about the bicycle and the hang gliders. He exchanged ideas and designs with people all over the world who had similar dreams. So what he did, he was not only thinking alone. He was exchange, he exchanged his ideas and plans and designs with other people in the world who has similar uh, who has similar interest. One of these dreams was to invent a faster, safer, and easier to ride bicycle. So he was he was drinking. Uh, he was uh, th thinking, dreaming, dreaming about a uh, uh, man a uh, man powered bicycle. So 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 the so dreams was to invent a faster. So then what happened? He could invent a fast. No, this uh, all together, right? Not only him, like. So one of these dreams was to invent a faster, safer and easier to ride bicycle. So now maybe uh, modern, like more or less like modern bicycles. So you can ride it fast, right? With less effort. Next para, he also tried to improve soil fertility and to manage weeds. Today we know about the benefit of growing glycidia, glycidia trees. 
So again, not only about, only about vehicles, he was thinking about soil fertilization, sort of, uh, soil fertility. So, so, that, that, uh, so he, um, uh, we know that glycerin in use, okay, that he was, maybe he, he he must have uh, doing research about glycidia and so we have now glycidia in Sri Lanka right you must have seen uh, in lots of in uh, villages fence in uh, like to fence to fem I have seen in fences uh, glycidia is grown in the in the with the fence we know that glycidia renews soil fertility and provide food for cattle mm. oh so then this knowledge is mostly thanks to Ray Vijayavardhana that means this has found out by Ray Vijayavardhana he must have done research so he that uh, to take that point out that it helps the, he, the glycerea tree helps 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 soil the next para his lifelong commitment was to help small farmers so what he was doing he, throughout his life he wanted to help poor farmers in Sri Lanka. He continued to look for ways to improve their harvest without increasing the cost of cultivation. So he was trying, he was trying throughout his life to find something new uh, to use uh, that can use, that can be used by farmers like to improve, to help, uh, to help in the harvesting period. Thousands of farmers in Sri Lanka enjoyed the fruit of heat and labor. The thousands of Sri Lanka uh, farmers in Sri Lanka enjoyed the fruits of his labor. So that means majority of our Sri Lankan farmers still enjoying his uh, hard work, hard working results, his over the he, things he found out. He always talk about his idea with others and read widely before he tried out his invention. So what he, he was very like very down to earth man no. So he always uh, reading he, he was a wonderful reader he must, must, must be a wonderful reader right he read widely and always share and talk with ideas with others. He's very humble no he when he, when he has an idea he is uh, talking with others he is sharing with others to get their ideas to understand other views, to get the to others other views, so he's sharing the, his uh, ideas with others. Uh, if someone else gave a better solution, he gladly accept it. Oh, so uh, not only he is talking and getting the others' ideas. The, when somebody is giving a better solution, a better idea, he humbly accept it. He's very humble man. He had an open and inquisitive mind. He has an open and inquisitive mind. He had open means what do you mean by open and inquisitive mind? Inquisitive mind means curious, eager to learn about things. Open means it's open to get everything. It's not like I know this thing, I am the one who's, who knows everything. No, he never thinks like never thought like that. It's open to others' views as well. Others uh, request beams, uh, their, uh, their knowledge, others knowledge. So it's very, very open. He, he, he was a very open minded man and inquisitive. In inquisitive means very curious, this eager to want, this eager to learn new things. He can't wait without learning new things. Then he was an outstanding person. Uh, sorry, he was an, he, he was also an outstanding sportman. He competed in the Olympic Olympic Games twice in sailing. He competed in the Mexico Olympic in 1968 and in Bangkok Olympics in 1970. He won a silver medal at the Bangkok Olympic. So now his sport career. So he is now um, he's, uh, now that uh, his uh, sport achievements, right? Uh, giving information about his sport career. So what he have done? He has represented Olympic Games, okay, uh, Mexico Olympic and Bangkok Olympic and won silver medal uh, at the Bangkok Olympic. So he was a wonderful sportman. The Sri Lankan government has honored him with two awards with their Jyoti in 1998 and Deshamani in 2002. Ray Vijayavardhan is indeed an illustrious son of the soil. So even the Sri Lankan government has honored him, giving two awards, Deshamani and Vidya Jyoti. 
So he is honored by Sri Lankan people. So who now finally what they say in Ray Vijayawadri is indeed an illustrious son of the soil. What do you mean by illustrious son of the soil? Soil? What do you mean soil means? Mother, mother Sri Lanka from mother, son of a mother Sri Lanka. Outstanding, is it illustrious son of the soil means outstanding citizen of Sri Lanka. Outstanding. That means he is not like an ordinary man, right? He, he, he never thought about his uh, job, his uh, living, his uh, profit. But he was always, throughout his life, he was thinking about how to improve poor farmers' lifestyle, right? So he's an extraordinary man, extraordinary citizen, should be honored, yes. Okay, children, now so we read the passage. Now let's answer the following questions. Question number one, in the big number one, there are eight questions. So you need to uh, read the passage back and forth to uh, find the answers to these questions. Let's take the first one. How is Dr. Philip Revata Vijayavadana more commonly known? It's in the, it's, it was in the first para. How was, uh, what was his nickname? Ray Vijayavadana, yes. The second one, what outstanding abilities and qualities did he have? What outstanding abilities and qualities he have? What are the outstanding? Like outstanding means a rare qualities. If, we, if you compare him with another, you can see some rare, some uncommon qualities of it. What are they? That Those are called outstanding qualities, abilities and qualities. What are they? So, he was an inventor. He was a scientist, uh, sorry, engineer, inventor and athlete, yes. Three different fields, right? So usually we don't have, we are not talented in different fields. We might talented in one, one, uh, one field. But he of course, do, uh, very, very talented in three different fields. So that's, that's, that's the outstanding ability. So what was, one, uh, what was one of his earliest invention? What was the first, what, what he invented firstly? What, what was his first invention? Landmaster. What was the special about this invention? What's the special about this invention? It improved Sri Lankan farmer's lifestyle and made popular, became popular in more than 20 countries. What else did he experiment with? Did he experiment with? What else? Apart from the landmaster, what he was thinking about? A bicycle, about an say fastest, easiest, easy riding bicycle and hand gliders. What are his sporting achievement? I know you know what his sporting achievement in the, the last uh, uh, in the last para, what Olympics, right? He won a silver medal uh, at the Bangkok Olympics and also he part compete in uh, yeah, Mexico Olympics in 1990, 1968. The last one, no, the last before. How did Sri Lanka show her appreciation of Dr. Vijayavardhana? How Sri Lankans uh, appreciate, appreciated uh, Dr. Vijayavardhana's talent? By honoring him, so by uh, so honored him by giving awards with their Jyoti and awards with their Jyoti and um, Deshamani, right? Okay. Last one. Do you do you agree that Dr. Vijayavadana is an outstanding Sri Lankan? So now think, think of his life, think uh, about his character, uh, think his uh, innovations. Now think and tell, I, do you really think he's an outstanding Sri Lankan? Do you really think he's an outstanding figure? He, uh, do, you, uh, do you think uh, he's, an, he's an ordinary man? Are you, is he an ordinary man? No, he is not an ordinary. If, you are, if he, he was an ordinary, he, he could be simply uh, doing his work, engineering work and live happily. But he didn't do so. He invented, he was trying hard to uh, make others life better, right? He's a very, very good uh, down to earth, outstanding citizen, outstanding, very humble man, a gentleman, very humble gentleman, yes. Okay, so we discussed the question number one. Please write the answers for all the questions.